Welcome to USL Today, where we were fortunate to speak recently at the USL Winter Summit with Orange County Blues FC's Oliver Weiss about the club's remarkable turnaround season in 2015 that saw it not only finish on the top of the Western Conference in the regular season, but also establish strong bonds within the community across Orange County. Oliver, the transformation Orange County Blues FC had in 2015 was absolutely remarkable. How much pride did you take in what the side was able to accomplish on the field and off the field? Well, obviously we take a tremendous amount of pride. I think it's exactly a year ago when I was hired to come in and lead the Orange County Blues and it was very clearly we had to get a fantastic team and a great coaching staff and I think we were able to accomplish that and put a very competitive product on there. And the uniqueness is really the success was down to every single player. Obviously started with our owner, Ali Mansouri, and then he was led into myself and the front office and the technical staff. And so, tremendous sense of accomplishment, but I think we just wanted to raise the bar and show the USL what we can do. The Blues have obviously been a long-standing USL club, but it wasn't necessarily until this year that things really seemed to take a step forward. Now it sounds like there's an even bigger step being taken forward in the, p the possibility of a stadium. What can you give us an update on that? Well, there's obviously a lot of things going on. At the end of the day, everybody, every team would like to play in their own stadium. So as every other team, we're actively pursuing and looking at different kind of options. We feel comfortable we have something in place, but before everything is signed and done and deal, obviously, uh, you know, we, we're we continue as we are and I think the fact is that we were so successful on the field has interested the community know more about the OC Blues and I think all the other aspects of the field that is only a matter of time. You obviously mentioned the off the field aspects there was so much community involvement and the players getting involved with local groups how exciting was that for you to see and the way that the players responded to that off the field activity? I think it really brought us together and I think the players took a tremendous amount of pride and I congratulate and their first class citizen. That was one of the aspects. All the fans came. They felt truly felt it was a soccer environment where they wanted to bring their children back. So we, we established a very good fan base and I personally feel it's extremely important for us to give back. Yes, these are professional soccer players, but more importantly they gotta be role models in the community. And I think that aspect they really cherished and they went with it and we had a very big success in it. You guys obviously had a remarkable season finishing top of the Western Conference in the regular season. How do you build on that for twenty sixteen? Hey, I think I came in here at the beginning and said we wanted to win the USL. So we felt we had a team and we have a staff that could win the USL. So naturally, the you know now the, uh, the task of being set high, but we're going to come in into this season and want to win, win the Western Conference, want to win the playoffs and win that, and obviously at the end uh, be the champions of the league. And so we feel very comfortable about that with the players we're recruiting, with the returning players. And as every day, it's hard work, right? And we're willing to do that.